Hey folks, welcome back to Waygate Technologies. Dan here again. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to take a look at a new feature uh, that we're very excited about. First time in one of our portable instruments, we've added a feature that lets you connect an iPhone uh, with an app and take pictures and do some markups to help you document your inspection. On the screen right now, you can see on the right side of the screen, uh, the remote screen capture uh, from the, the instrument. That's a live video feed. Uh, my PC is on the same local network as the, the device. So, and I'm sharing the screen of my iPhone on the left. Now, the iPhone and the device are also on the same local network. I have the iPhone connected with Wi-Fi. The instrument's connected with wired Ethernet. Um, you could also arrange the connection directly between the instrument and the iPhone using the Wi-Fi hotspot feature that's available on, uh, on your phone if your service uh, supports that. Anyway, the important thing is that both the instrument and the, uh, the phone need to be on the same local network. I've already gone through and done my ultrasonic setup on the instrument. Um, I've calibrated for velocity, uh, checked the angle of my probe. Um, all that's good. I've got an AWS style probe at 70 degrees. So we're doing an angle beam inspection of this weld sample. So I'm all set up. I'm ready to do my scanning and I'm coming along, coming along and up. Oh, what's that? We have an indication. Okay. So if I just kind of peek up on it quickly, about 56 millimeters out from my index point, which if I look, 57 millimeters puts me right on the center line of the weld. And if I slide back and forth till I start to fall off the edge of the indication and mark my, put some marks on here showing each end of the indication. Okay, and I'm on the center line. So I've taken my wax pencil, made a couple of marks to indicate where things are. And let's get peaked up on that again. And we'll hit freeze. So now ultrasonically, I've uh, peaked up. I've measured the amplitude of the, the most intense response, the center. I found sort of the 3 dB down points roughly on either side of that. Made some marks on my weld. So looking down, I can see my grease pencil marks. Now I'd like to document that. And I hit freeze there so that I can take my hands off the probe and the instrument is ready to receive something from the iPhone app. So now if I go and I run the USM app, the, when I first enter the USM app, I get uh, my connection information. So if I have uh, set up multiple instruments here, you would see the different instruments. In this case, I've set up this instrument. Tap on that connection and it opens a map on the bottom of the screen. So it's using GPS right now to locate me on the earth. Um, it's found the address uh, of the office here in Harrisburg and shows that on the map. Now I can take a picture. And when I click the picture icon, the camera icon, it says, do you want to use a camera or the photo library? So if I want, I can choose pictures out of my photo library. In this case, I want to do this live picture camera, point my camera at my sample, take a picture, and I can see my grease pencil marks nice and plainly there. I can mark this up using Telestrator type uh, input. So I chose the cyan color. Let's take my finger, mark circle. Um, if I'd rather have some text notes, uh, let's make those in yellow and we'll say uh, baseline crack. And I can move that down and put it right next to my grease pencil notes. I hit done. And then I can send that over to the instrument. So it says sending. And we notice we get a pop up on the screen of the instrument that says we just got a message from the iPhone app. So if I say check, 
it'll give me a preview. There's my markups, there's my map. I have everything, now I can hit save. Okay, so it saved the file uh, as part of a data set file. And if I scroll down here a little bit, I do load data. I can see that the file was saved as generic 14. And I check that. And you notice there is an I icon beside generic 14. So that tells me that I have a picture attached to that data set. If I come in here and click on that, there's the file that I saved. There's the picture that I saved, and there's the map that came with it. So I can use that to, to learn, uh, to help identify where that data was saved from. I can load that data back. And once it's loaded, there's a new icon over here on the command bar called View Pick. And if I click View Pick, there's the picture that was attached to that data set. Okay. So the instrument, once it has the picture, it associates it with, with all of the ultrasonic data. You can see the picture, you can see your ultrasonic data. You can go back and review that in different ways. Okay, you say, but that that's neat, but it takes a while to go through all those steps. You know, I don't have that kind of time when I'm inspecting. Well, it can be gone through very quickly. So I peeked up on my indication. I've already got my grease pencil marks. If I freeze, come to my phone, tap the USM app, hit that, hit the camera, take my picture, use photo. Might make a circle around my notes. Done. Send it to the to the instrument. I get my pop up it says check. I like what I see. I hit save, and it saves it as generic sixteen. So just that quickly and easily. And um, what do we have there? Fifteen twenty seconds or so. Um, we were able to take the picture, attach it to the data. Um, we come down here. Uh, Let's say later we want to come back and analyze this. So we're going to drop out of our running app. And let's say we want to just have a look in our files manager. Uh, come down here. We can find generic 16. There it is. We have the eye icon letting us know that there's a picture attached to that data set. I can come in here. I can have a look at it. There's the picture that we saved. If I go back out here and go home, I run the app, go ahead and resume. Now let's say we want to take a look at that data set uh, later. So we scroll down here, we do load data. And we notice that in the preview or in the files list uh, where we choose which data file we want to load again, we have the I icon uh, beside the generic 16 indicating there's a picture attached. We say, yeah, that's the one I saved. That's the one I want to look at. So we go ahead and load generic 16. We got our ultrasonic data back. We have all of our measurements and another aid in producing a good report. To get the USM Enrich app, uh, you're going to want to go to the App Store, the Apple App Store. And do search, type USM Enrich, search, and there it is, the USM Enrich app under Utilities. And you can download and install the app uh, for free from here. And this will give you the ability to connect to your USM 100 instrument as we've shown. So again, thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, please reach out to remote service at bakerhughes.com and I'll be glad to help you out. Thanks.